Hello everyone, I'm Tracy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over the two large fires in Wyoming. Um, these started back in September, so I apologize, this video is a little late. Um, this one was, these two fires are kind of difficult to report on because information has been so censored, but I'm gonna do the best that I can with the information I have found. Um, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so before you leave and like, comment, and share this video with as many people as you can so we can let people know what's really going on. So with that, let me just go over some stats and I, I'll put a link to the post that I did and it has some of this information there. So the two fires in Wyoming, one is the Elk Fire and that has burned 96,360 acres. And it's currently, as of this Monday, which was the 21st, it's 51% contained. The other fire is the Pack Trail Fire. And that was reported on the 15th of September. And it has burned 89,639 acres. And as of the most recent report, which I believe was this Monday, the, the 21st, it's 64% contained. Also, it, it rained on the fire on the 17th of October. And um, in some areas, there are there is snow on the ground. So um, I thought that that was interesting. It's not the first time we've seen a fire get snowed on, yet the fire uh, persists. We saw that with the smokehouse fire in Amarillo, Texas. Um, also, this area is known for its lithium and uranium deposits. Now, I know there's been already a lot of talk about this area being set on fire for purposes of mining. And I just don't, I don't know. And, you know, I'm going to show you guys some information. Um, here's the location of the elk fire. I'm going to be um, showing some clips of uh, the person, someone, uh, an official talking and this fire is extremely unprecedented because of how fast it grew. So um, uh, there's someone I'm going to have talk about this. They're, they're going to go over this. But um, the fire is just so unusually large as far as the amount of land that's burned. And it, it grew unusually fast. And again, this is about the censorship that I've been kind of picking up on in that the information does not match with different reports and um, images, information and uh, video is difficult to come by with these two fires. And here is, there's the Lithium Freedom Lithium Project, but I'm gonna go into why this, this, these two fires are different from previous ones that I've been, that I've been reporting on. Okay. And here's a clip from the elk fire. And the Pactro fire that is burning the Grand Teton National Park. So there's a lot of wildlife um, you know, a lot of forest and a lot of animals that I believe have already perished. Um, and as of now, there there's only two structures, two homes that were burned in the elk fire. Now, here is a really interesting clip, and there's going to be some arrows, but um, I'm going to play it a couple times. Notice on the bottom, there are three people spreading the fire started preparing for snow across Wyoming. The heat from the growing wildfires in our state still raging on in the latest update on the elk fire burning west of Dayton near Raleigh Point. The blaze was nearing 90,000 acres in size with 27% with 27% containment on Monday. According to fire authorities, the Sheridan County Sheriff's Office also implemented changes so did you see in, in the earlier part of the clips, I know Shane put those aerial arrows with the kind of fire nados, but there are three men on the ground spreading the fire. 
Um, I'm sure you could find people that say that they are uh, containing the fire or building firewalls, but it's not the first time I've seen it and I'll play it again. Also, there are these fireballs that are going through the air towards the, the end of this video. Started preparing for snow across Wyoming. The heat from the growing wildfires in our state still raging on. In the latest update on the Elk Fire burning west of Dayton near Raleigh Point, the blaze was nearing 90,000 acres in size with 27% containment on Monday, according to fire authorities. The Sheridan County Sheriff's Office also implemented changes to the evacuation. So, yeah, those. Um, like like comets, like explosions in the air. Um, I did hear multiple reports from the Lahaina fire that they saw, or they yeah they saw like balls of fire like the size of baseballs being whipped through the air. That could be a natural fire occurrence, but what we saw right there did not look natural. It looks artificial, like something was being launched or or something like that. But yeah, really kind of questionable things going on in that fire, I mean, in that clip. All right, so I guess there's no audio here. I don't see the aircraft, but supposedly there are aircraft dropping water and fire retardants on on the fire all right and here's someone speaking um about the intensity and the uh, how fast this fire spread here's what the bighorn national forest supervisor andrew johnson had to say about the elk fire and the unprecedented fire season wyoming is having um, and I talked about how we were, you know, seeing unprecedented weather conditions for this time of year and unprecedented fire behavior. And a case in point, in the last 100 years, the modern fire history of the Bighorn National Forest, the last 100 years, the largest wildfire we'd had on the forest was roughly 18,000 acres. That fire took about a month to grow to 18,000 acres. On Friday night, this fire grew 25,000 acres in a matter of hours. So you heard him talk about how fast this fire spread and yeah it's just unbelievable even with you know men on the ground you know spreading the fire that is just uh, unusually fast as far as the fire goes and then here is a witness testimony i thought we were going to lose everything we built for 30 years i did what everybody else would do which is protect your own Fighting the fire as it came feet from his home. His saved, but two neighbors here in the Horseshoe subdivision weren't as lucky. Wall of fire is all I can say. I continued to spray down here until I saw the explosion of one of the houses that lost their transformer. All right, so he saw an explosion from the transformer in a house. Um, I just thought that was interesting. Now here is another clip that is to me it's comical and if you're watching if you've been following you'll probably find this funny that this information i've been providing are conspiracy theories which at this point in history uh, conspiracy theories for the most part have come out to be the truth but here is to me this is the disinformation firefighters are battling a pair of wildfires in wyoming with an estimated 100,000 acres burning. Officials say the fires were caused by lightning strikes, but as fast as flames have spread, so have the conspiracy theories. Some social media users floating unproven claims suggesting a connection between the elk fire's growth and lithium deposits, alleging global leaders are starting the fires on purpose to clear out the land for lithium mining. All right, so I've noticed that the mainstream or the establishment has pushing back on these ideas that mining is behind the intention of these fires. Now we might never really know, like with Asheville, it's, it's very obvious because they have been trying to buy that land for a long time. But with these two fires in Wyoming, um, most of these fires are in the national park. So, 
you know, they didn't have to really buy out land, you know, using eminent domain. Although the burning of the, the trees and the animals, you know, might make it easier for them, or it probably does make it easier for uh, rebuilding and redevelopment. But, um, you know, I'll link another video, or Hustle did one with more information on the lithium, but I'm gonna, you know, repeat myself in that these two fires, uh, unlike the other ones that we've reported on, it doesn't really align with specific smart city plans and the intensity and how it started so fast. It's like they popped out of nowhere and they spread like extremely fast. Um, even looking at the possibility of, you know, lasers or uh, advanced technology, I just don't know enough to, to be able to say that that was possible with the use of those technologies. But um, yeah, these are very, very, um, these are huge fires, very unusual, very suspicious, but very much censored. So I wanted to give you guys what I had, and these are my opinions. Um, I would say it. there is a purpose possibly for the mining of this land, but I think there might be more to the story. And I'll continue to look and report, you know, anything I find. But um, yeah, these were, these are, these are just a little different from the others. So uh, with that, I'm going to close out right here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I have a video coming up um, by the end of this week about the uh, massive flooding going on in Roswell, New Mexico, British Columbia, Canada, and Australia. And I'm not also hearing that Italy has had severe flooding. So we're going to be going into that in detail um, very soon. So thank you guys so much for being here and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.